I actually remember the first day that I met Mr. McGettigan. I think he was the first person that I met when I came into the lobby and when I figured out that it was him, and I still remember what he was wearing, his red blazer. I think he was on his way to the Union League. I was going to lunch one day, I had my coat on, and uh, Christine came in out of the rain and uh, grabbed me by the arm. She said, Mr. McGettigan, she said, I have to talk to you. It's very important that I talk to you. <laughs> I was on my way out the door, and but she just said it's such enthusiasm and excitement that I said, fine, I took her to the office for about five minutes, and uh, I had to go to my lunch, and I told Kay Brown, the head of the office at the time, I said, whatever she's applying for, hire her. <laughs> it was the best hire <laughs> that I ever made. When Christine started in this business, it was a man's world, and she has very successfully navigated her way through, uh, and uh, has, has I think, changed the face of the industry quite a bit, and will more so in the future, and has been a real pioneer. She did some of our major pitches. Uh, we sat in rooms and uh, screened at each other about strategy and how to get things done, and, um, and at the end of the day, we all came out of it with some really, really interesting, innovative stuff. We used to walk around here with a mantra saying, innovate or die, it was, that, that was it. And uh, so we had a lot of uh, conversations on that topic, and I think it pushed both of us. What it takes to be successful today is very different than what it took to be successful when I started in the industry. And I think that's what's kept it very exciting, for me at least, is that it is constantly changing and evolving. And so the ability to be flexible, the ability to go with the trends and the direction that clients are taking us and where the industry takes us and not getting stuck in a particular position or role or idea. The thing that I'm most impressed about is how she's managed to be a global role model. Uh, people all over the world know Christine Duffy, as well they should, and she's helping the industry to grow. She's helping to attract people to it. Um, which is tremendously necessary in our industry. I think the thing about Christine that's very special is she inspires people. I think whether it's looking at leadership initiatives for women's leadership or whether it's running MPI worldwide uh, or her numerous speaking engagements, she has an infectious um, enthusiasm about this industry and she inspires people to want to be in it. The most important thing to me is about elevating the profession so that we can attract the best and brightest as they're coming out of school today, that next generation, to be part of this great industry. One thing that one has to be impressed about when you, when you deal with Christine is the energy. Um, whether it's 7 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock at night, she has incredible energy. And just being around that energy gets you inspired. There's just an energy aura that surrounds her and envelops other people to raise their own game. She has such enthusiasm that, uh, and she sticks to it. She's a very hard, determined worker, and she gets things done. And she has that ability to get people to do things, too. She's not what you would call a slave driver, but she gets people to do things. And uh, I think that's what makes her so special. In many ways, of course, Christine has shaped the industry, um, probably most notably for her role in women's leadership. Uh, she founded the Women's Leadership Initiative at Meeting Professionals International, making it possible for some amazing research and scholarship programs that exist today. She, while having personal success in leadership, recognized that all women in the industry weren't having the same amount of success, and she wanted to make that uh, change happen. It's amazing to me how much she's accomplished um, for the number of years she's been in this business. Um, I think she's got a lot more fuel left in her to do even greater things, um, and I know that she will. I'm also very proud of the work that I've done in the industry and becoming part of MPI and launching the Women's Leadership Initiative and seeing that become successful and seeing people in the industry support that and recognize that women are the majority of people that work in this industry and that it's all of our jobs to ensure that women have the same opportunity that men do to become and take on leadership roles. So that clearly was a highlight and then becoming chairwoman of the MPI board uh, was a great, uh, a, a great accomplishment that I'm very proud to have served MPI in the industry in that way.